When you're a student at university, one of the things that you have to do is go to lectures and take notes. For this reason, section 4 of the IELTS listening test often features the notes completion task. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to give you some information about this. With this type of task, you need to complete a set of notes by filling in the gaps. Notes are a record of the main points and structure of what you listen to. In this task, you also need to keep within a word limit. Let's look at an example of a notes completion task. First, notice the instructions here. Complete the notes below. And also the part which tells you how many words you need to write in each gap, here. If we look at the notes here, you'll notice that there is a heading, subheadings, and bullet points. The gaps are usually in the bulleted text, like this. And when you complete them, the points in the notes must represent what you've heard in the listening test. So, how should you complete this type of task? Well, first, before you listen, make sure you check the instructions to see how many words you need to write in the gaps. Then, use the preparation time to quickly read through the notes and see what facts or information is presented. Third, look at the gaps and try to predict what types of words or numbers might fit. Then, highlight any keywords you can see and try to think of synonyms. As you listen, you should use the keywords and synonyms you have thought of, as well as the subheadings, to guide you. You'll hear the speaker say the words or numbers that you need to write in the same order as you can see in the questions. As you know, you only listen once, so write the missing word or words as you hear them. You don't need to change the form of the words from what you've heard, but make sure the answer fits grammatically and is spelled correctly. Notes completion in Section 4 is one of the most authentic tasks in the IELTS listening test. If you do well in this type of task, you'll also be more likely to handle taking notes in a real lecture situation. Now, here's a summary of how to do this task. 